Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more Dota Underlords. And in today's video, it's time to take a look at the third option. Of course, we've done the tutorial. We've done a solo bot uh, game where we, well, try to cover some of the mechanics that we've learned so far. It's time to give multiplayer a go. Let's see what we can do against other players. This is, of course, the real idea behind this game is to play it against others and to see if you can basically build a better, stronger army of heroes than they can can with the cards that are drawn to you i must say this does feel like you've got lots of rng uh in this place so what are we gonna do we do have lots of warriors and two tusks early on the chance that i'll see another tusk after that is rather small and a bounty hunter tends to be pretty decent early on as well and this is assassin human brawny warrior i think i'll just i'll take the axe uh, i feel like he's really decent um a decent amount of HP. He's a warrior, and uh, he can he can basically be my first line of defense. Let's see how he does against the two normal creeps here. Three hits for the first creep. Then he activates something that I think increases his attack speed. Uh, oh no, it's a taunt. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, taunts could actually be really useful. Of course. Uh, now let's take a look at what happens next. We get a light. All right, neutral rounds offer one additional item choice or, well, we'll take a vitality booster just to make him even more tanky. That's really his role here in this game at this point. And we have a first disconnect. This happens as well and does uh, tend to skew the games a little bit. And here, unfortunately, nothing too great. So we could go Shaman Trolls, Clockwork. We've got an Assassin Bloodseeker that could be nice as well. Let's see if we can basically work with some support for... Yeah, I'm going to choose that one. Let's see if we can work with some supports. And then I'm actually going to wait for the next round before grabbing more. So he's actually pretty powerful because of his Hex, of course, if... He gets the time to get enough mana, which you can see his mana actually increases um, as he does damage. If he has the Hex, that does take one opponent potentially out of the game for quite a bit. And I think he needs to be at full mana. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that works just yet. But, alright, second wave of creeps done. And there's only seven players left. Demon, ooh man, I like this one. This uh, allowed me to get very high at one point. Uh, with strange bedfellows. Do I try that again? Then I do need some very specific units, but we could we could try it's, it's a big gamble, but this is potentially a very strong passive and next round here Well, we can take uh, Let's see. I've got four gold So I'm gonna take the axe and the shadow shaman of course, and then we're probably gonna add uh, a warlock in the mix um, Warlocks, I absolutely love them as well uh, in general, because of course two of them give my units a lifesteal, which is potentially very nice. And I didn't pay attention to the others. Do any of them have a tier 2 unit? That's where they would get a big advantage. And to my surprise, no, he's very close with the two tinies. But I'm pretty close with, with my stuff here as well. And there's... Ooh, uh, my axe is down. But the Hex did help out, and so we managed to get that neutral creep wave down as well. And now we start up against players. So here you do have a big decision uh, to make. You'll get to 4 automatically. Uh, debuffs last 50% as long as human units. Hmm, and then we'll, ta we'll take the increased damage here. We'll give it to Warlock, I think. I get four gold, and here you do really have to... Ooh, tier 2 axe, that's pretty awesome. Um, so we're not gonna ramp up at this point. And then the terror blade. Um, I have to buy this one because of this, of course. This He's just, not just a demon hunter, he's also a demon. So potentially he would be really awesome. And we're actually gonna put him here instead of that. And uh, I think he's already buffed up. So this is definitely pretty lucky. We've got um, a tier 2 hero, which they don't have. And we've got a terror blade that is actually buffed up thanks to this. Normally 30% extra damage because of uh, yeah, him being uh, a demon as well. So that's pretty awesome. That is uh, quite an amazing start here. So that's nice. Um, so demon hunter is 
good. Oh, uh, this, oh, it's, it's, well, actually, of course, should give that extra damage to, uh, to the Terror Blade. And then let's see what happens next here. Five golds, one for the victory. That makes four, six, and we get to four. Don't have, well, she's a demon, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, which is really potentially very good. Now I have uh, a difficult choice to make. I like the idea of two warlocks so that they gain um, life leech. But of course, 30% increased damage is very nice as well. So we're gonna risk that for now. Let's see if that does work and what kind of a damage breakdown we've got here. Still all tier 1s. Uh, I hope that she doesn't die too quickly. She does die fairly quickly. Up, oh, this is gonna get tricky. Come on, axe. Come on, terror blade. More damage, please. That's good. That's good. Terror blade using his ranged attack and axe, of course, with the extra HP. Tanking this out. Um, okay, we won. Not convincingly, in my opinion. She she was rather useless at this point. Uh, so I'm not sure. I probably need to to like change up my um uh i probably need to change my setup a little bit but this is nice we're gonna get this uh and then we're gonna get rid of her because he's way more powerful than she is so that's pretty awesome and i guess i'll take the axe because of a chance at a, a tier 3 axe later in the game He's got a tier 2 Warlock, so this is gonna be the real test at this point. Come on, guys. Come on, Terror Blade. Do that maximum damage. Those are nice, chunky hits. Get the heals as well. And, ooh, he's also... Oh, this is perfect, actually. I hadn't noticed that, but he's a Warlock as well. So this guy actually both buffs my Terror Blade and... Uh, gives life regen or, or uh, life steal because it's two warlocks. This is this is pretty good. This is pretty nice so far. So that's another round one. Then we've got a uh, we we could buy this to gamble on a tier two bounty hunter. I'll quickly grab it. Who knows? Um, otherwise, we'll sell it right away. Yeah, this is not too interesting. So I think I want to sell sell these are okay to keep and then i will grab the second queen of pain a tier 2 queen of pain could be nice especially if we would reach level 5 and the others uh, not that super interested in them we get another disconnect or a leaf can't really tell exactly what uh, what happens all the time but um okay four tier ones all the big goods Love the Shadow Fiend. He also has a pretty nice ability. Warlock, though, has been taken to the butcher shop. He heals himself. Come on now. Get the axe down. They managed to do so. And full survival. That means they take quite a bit of damage because of that. That's pretty good. So would love to work on the axe, would love to get more demons or a demon hunter, which is anti-mage, of course, is the second one. Uh, I know this only because I have actually played with this uh, strange bedfellow item uh, around uh, a couple of rounds ago. Uh, so that uh, that's why I know this. But otherwise, you know, I, I had to really learn all of that and be very lucky. Uh, so that gives me eight gold with my win streak. And now... None of this feel... Oh, but yeah, no, Chaos Knight's a demon. So that is pretty interesting. Oh, and we've got an anti-mage as well. Okay. Uh, at this point, I am going to go like this. And these two can go here. This one... Not that necessary anymore. Why am I doing this? I'm locking in the two extra gold. And now I'm going to take the anti-mage and the Chaos Knight to keep working on... Uh, the best possible combination. Oh, he's got he's got three tier twos. This is gonna be a lot harder now, and I'm actually gonna lose my first game. That that happens as well. We lost to uh, was it Krovatka? Take seven seven damage, quite a bit. And yep, uh, his tier twos are of course very nice to have. Uh, so that means that 
Well, I'm in lead with the gold, so we're gonna see how we handle it. And it's because five, six heroes on the board, I'm basically lagging behind in the uh, amount of heroes that I can put up. So let's see what we got here. Seven gold, we automatically get to five. We do see a second Chaos Knight. And if I buy this, hmm, who do I want to put up? Either, I think that one does make sense. And then I'm actually going to uh, push it here a little bit. We're going to invest in uh, up to six, uh, which is quite costly, admittedly. It's going to cost me, set me back... Uh, a lot. Hmm, this guy's got a terror blade and that as well. Interesting. I think he's gonna have the same item. I wonder if I can see that. Come on guys, take the axe out. Good. Bash the anti-mage. And there we go. So terror blade, shadow fiend, chaos knight. Alright, chaos knight did quite nicely. It is. Demon hunters gain damage for each unique allied hero. Okay, so a bit of an expensive round. But gave us another victory. So now it's really Krovatka that we have to take, uh, be careful of. He is going in a different area. Oh, there you can actually also see what they have. So let's see. Ah, damn it. Uh, I'll... Ooh, Doom. Doom is nice. Doom is very nice, actually. Uh, definitely prefer Doom over this guy. So we're gonna... I'm gonna invest in that, I'm gonna do it, and then and this doesn't matter that much anymore for the uh, for the gold. We'll only get one extra. It's uh, another loot round, uh, that gives me the chance to take a look here. Full items, summoning stone, uh, embarrassment of riches, okay, come on Terror Blade, do your thing. Oh, I'm, I'm actually not looking at myself. We're, we're already done and no no other buffs so that's that's interesting the potential is there for me to do well i think still so sancho and then here in the shop yeah nothing too useful uh troll units that's not gonna be uh, we could get that lifesteal or 100 percent movement speed i'm not even sure if that's actually good uh mask of madness at least it gives me attack speed, and I guess I can put that on him. Ooh, tier 2 queen of... Uh, Alright. Where do I put that? 20 gold. Do I have enough for another one? I mean, if I could put her on the board, that would be massively strong. It would be 4. I'm gonna gamble it. All my gold taken, but another tier 2 on the board. Another demon. This ought to mean... Some serious damage from Terror Blade and Anti Mage, who is now silenced, but also has that increased attack speed. So, should do good. Walrus Punch getting owned. And who am I fighting against? Dirty Sing at this point. Alright, that's a victory for me. So, big reset. Luckily, none of them, except for Tomcha, are saving a lot of gold. So, to get that uh, going is quite nice, I think. We do definitely wa don't want to silence the Shadow Fiend. Do we want to... No, she actually has pretty nice uh, round her damaging all enemies up to three cells away. Yeah, we're, we're definitely want to keep that. And this turn, nothing good. But I'm okay with that because I'm so low on gold that uh, I think I should wait for before investing even more in this. And now the question is, do I have to change my lineups? Uh, maybe to try and... Well, this way I think my Warlock is safe. So that is something that I really don't know anything about. Placements that you should be doing. You can see that they're also hiding in the corner here for the... Um, the What's he called here? The Sniper. He can actually shoot over the entire field. That is quite a bit of a problem. Uh, my Tier 2, she just survived. But now the question is, should I get into a more aggressive stance uh, against these defensive builds? That is... Hmm. Or let them come and hope that the Queen of Pain can actually uh, do what it needs to do. Get in on the back line. Not sure at this point. Uh, we're up to 14 gold. Butch. 
He's not a bad hero. But of course at this point we're gonna grab the Chaos Knight and hope for another one. Hope for one more of these. And uh, Phantom Assassin helps with the Assassins and does help with the Elusives as well potentially. But alright, for now let's see if we can survive this match. Two tier 2s. I'm at 7, all of them are at 6, so I invested very heavily. My Queen of Pain this time, very useful in the back against the Luna. Uh, that was not a great hit. Warlock heal, pretty nice. And yeah, this time Queen of Pain must have done a lot of work. Yeah, actually most damage, so that's nice. She's definitely a counter to some of the heroes that, uh, that he has there, so I'm liking that. All right, let's see. Come on, one more of these would be nice. We're not seeing it. I'm getting to 20 gold. Again, we're going to show restraint and um, patience because I want that interest. You can see Krotava is also working his way there. Two tier twos, uh, only one warlock. Kind of a weird choice, but all right. And this... This still feels okay. I'll get two interest because of locking this down. Oh, and I'm actually up against Krotava. So let's see if my Queen of Pain can again. Yes, work on him. That's awesome. He gets his stun off. That's unfortunate. But uh, my units have lifesteal, unlike his, because he doesn't have enough uh, warlocks. And that's a powerful uh, hunter. Troll Hunter, I think, or something like that. Um, that increased his attack damage a lot. So if you don't kill him fast enough, it is a problem. But this went quite okay as well. Round 15. Let's see. Come on. An Anti-Mage. That would be so good. No Anti-Mage. Hmm. A Keeper of the Light. There's, there's definitely uh, like a, a trick that you can do with that one. Or do I wait? And again, I'm at 30. Um, you also have like a sound whenever they create like a tier 2 or something like that, like that, there you go. Uh, which means combined the draw ranger. Um, oh, and it's a loot round, so I feel okay with having waited here. Now I am going to... Do I, do I grab that keeper of the lights? I will do that actually. Come on guys, tell me that you can handle this wave. I mean, it, it is not easy, but the big guy is down, Axe is tanking, okay, we, we made it only just, but we did manage to make it, give me a good item uh, to uh, to give my terror blade, for instance, uh, troll units again, mana gained from attacks, and alright, I think I've got little choice here. I am going to give that to him. If his ability could be used twice, that would be nice. And now, do I get a Terror Blade? Uh, definitely welcome, but not that great. And we're at 7. I could... What have they been doing? They've been combining more stuff. So I can buy that without having any real issues or problems. Uh, can't take away the life stealing. That's a tier two. That's too good as well. Yeah. He's got a tier three uh, at this point for the warlock. That's gonna be a bit more of a problem. I wish the queen of pain. Well, she did okay. But these heals are quite powerful. And so now we will not break this guy. So that was dirty singer. Managed to basically, uh, yeah, up me. Gold-wise, though, I'm in the lead. That gives me three ex extra gold from the interest. That is pretty big. And now at all right. Um, so did they level up or something? Not seeing what happens exactly. I think I'm gonna have to drop this guy at this point. Get to that 40 gold. Uh, but but all of that is. They went to level 7. Okay, still behind me. Would, would love to get this guy up and then be able to put him in the field. But at this point, yeah, it's not going to be easy. Oh, take that sniper out. Nope, she's... Man, she's... She's so squishy. 
maybe I should try and silence her actually and give her increased attack speed because I just lost another round. Of course, I've been saving my gold, so we'll see. Interesting game, I must say, this one. Lots of uh, back and forth. I'm going to try that. Let's hope that she doesn't zip around. I'd rather see her back of the line. Ooh, anti-mage, that is great. Uh, we're at 49, though, so that means I'm going to leave behind this plan. We're going to grab this one. And now that I'm at 50, we're also going to start investing in the levels a little bit more. Try to get to 10. Okay, let's hope that this can make a difference and that she doesn't zip around. Let's see if that happens or not. Do not teleport. She does teleport. Alright, increase the attack speed then. She has life regen. She just took out the Luna. Take out the Puck quickly. That's good healing. Uh, but yeah, it's still not enough. His Terror Blade is tier 2, which means that it's actually stronger than me. Alright. Gold. Come on. Make the difference here. I need it. That's going to be a loose streak, which is also going to give me extra gold. Up to 11. Perfect for the Shadow Fiend. Then we are going to invest a little bit of gold in that and then try to stay above 50 tier 2 shadow fiend hopefully that will help a terror blade would be really nice but yeah he's still not showing up and you still have to be a little patient at this point i think uh this army still has a lot of potential just bringing this guy in 30 percent increased damage for two of my units upping him it's gonna be a lot more damage let's see what we've got here yeah she Alright, so I obviously have to change my um, change my setup compared to their very defensive one. Because he's protecting his tier 3 all the way back there. And uh, I'm just not getting through. So I think I basically need to move them all forward. So that we get right in their face. Like that. And then these guys at the back here, for instance. And maybe try to protect him a little bit as well. Okay, let's see. What's next? Come on. One of these. Nope, nope, nope. That's a lot of nope. So I can... Uh, that's a difficult choice to make. Be patient or... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Except that one gold uh, loss. I'm actually going to put these guys here so they can start attacking right away. Uh, I'm going to take that one gold loss to get an extra demon on the board. You can see that these they have been buffed up. And if she can stay out of trouble, she does do a nice bit of damage. So now getting him to a next tier would be pretty awesome, of course. They're still lagging behind quite a bit in gold, so I'd say that this is okay. Uh, hunters, not useful when equipped. Heroes that has... Uh, hero has less than... He'll allies up to 3 cells away for 250 health. Alright, we'll take it. We'll give it to him, for instance, to be in the melee. And I get absolutely nothing, so we're going to invest that gold to get to level 9. And then hope for another demon, of course. Let's see here, Venomancer, that's a Warlock, but it's not that great. Beastmaster, would help with Brawny, and then a Triant Protector, yeah, not that nice. Alright, let's see if we can this time, you know, force that engagement right away and, and get to an advantage here. Alright. I'm especially watching my Queen of Pain. Survived at least a little bit more. And I'm not sure if we got that heal going. But at least we managed a victory here. So that felt a little bit better. Two of these please. One of these. One of these. All of that is good. But RNG Jesus has to provide of course. 11 gold. Absolutely nothing. Um... 
let's do it. Yes. All right. Was a little bit of a gamble, of course. So you can refresh this and, and hope for something uh, to uh, pop up so that you can get a tier two. I was very lucky there to still have 50 gold after that, but should help my army uh, a decent amount. So this time they're moving on this side. Not necessarily against that. Queen of Pain just doesn't. Yep, she is very disappointing, I must say. She just doesn't do what I want her to do. You know what could help? We're gonna actually uh, switch. The, the uh, axe taunt is not that interesting. We won, only just. Okay. Uh, the axe taunt is not that interesting. I'm gonna give her more HP. Let's see if that worked. We want that. Come on. Give me that on the axe. And we want this on the Queen of Pain. Uh, this is not good, so we're gonna invest like this. And a lone druid doesn't synergize in any way. A tiny would bring us to all warriors, so I don't have a lot of warriors. So yeah, this is this is gonna be another wait and hope that we survive this one. Two budges, that's lots of HP. All right, and that's that guy in the back. Let's hope that she. Survives a bit longer this time. Nope, she just gets wrecked like crazy. That's at least well done from the Shadow Fiends. Man, he's got... This is the the Warlock build. Look at that. Very, very strong. Tanky guys. And then the Warlocks right here. Uh, super annoying. So well done there. And this is an interesting game so far. So I'm gonna actually like put her... All the way at the back here. I'm gonna put you here with him at the maybe over here. Do still have that gold. That is great. All right, now I need to make a choice. Uh, we, I think I could try the Omni Knights. Bit of a bit of a cost uh, to it, and. Uh, I'm also going to give up a little bit on this. Ooh, and then we can definitely grab the Warlock here. Hope to bring him to tier 2. But I am the first one at 9. So let's hope that he can like get in a heal or something like that as well. I think my Queen of Pain survived a little bit longer there. And so... Ow! Maybe... Mm. His mechanism on her. I mean, I understand that she will die at some points, but maybe mechanism here? I'm not sure what his ability is actually. It's a passive ability. Um, demons? Anything like that? No. That does mean uh, we're at 54. I could grab the disruptor. Disruptor is pretty nice, but yeah, again, there's nothing too interesting here. Whoops, let's give that to him. All right, still survival of the fittest. Let's see. I'm thinking, what's his passive? He just burns mana. Oh, no. Atomage burns of the opponent's mana on each attack, dealing 50% of the mana burned as damage to the target. So that's not going to be better than Mask of Ma Madness, I think. If he silences, it means he can't have mana break. That's not that great. Uh, we've got the Vanguard, we've got Dragon Units, gain attack damage for every gold you own at the beginning of combat. Oof, I don't have any dragons, but so I could try that and and here I bought nothing. So that's a big, big mistake. Uh, I was too late, basically. Or Oh, it gave me Dragon's Horde automatically. All right, at least that happens. Uh, next. Hmm. A Kunkka is great, but a tier 5, that's techies. Uh, let's see. What do I do? I definitely invest this gold, try to get to 10. Cap for 5. Then I'll buy the techies. I mean, if we would have a tier 2 techies, that would be pretty awesome. And now, come on, Queen of Pain. Dish out some pain, please. 
At least the Venom Master is down, but my troops are down as well. Terror Blades in range did okay. Queen of Pain tried. So it's, it's still close. I still need to basically improve my army a little bit. Gold-wise, yeah, I'm the only one that I saved up. So that should give me lots of options. Get to 10 first. And I hope that that makes the difference. Uh, any of these interesting? No. So, do I go crazy? I mean, I need to do something against Dirty dirty Ginger, right? And that's his... That's full tier 2s. Full tier 2s, that is a bit of a problem. So, I... I think I need to just be patient. That's him we're up against. Okay, come on guys, show us what you got. Kill that blood seeker right away. More death. On yeah, that's a tier two down. That's okay. Come on, guys. That's good. Demon hunters, kill, kill, kill. And nope, nope. His hunters. Yeah, yeah. All right. Full tier twos. One out. Well done. So that does put me in a little bit of trouble. Um. Okay. Is there a tier, uh, like a 5 gold dragon? That would be pretty good. Enigma is decently nice. Uh, how far am I from getting my extra unit up? I'm gonna go nuts. We're gonna spend all that money. Because we still have 3 gold advantage now. And then we're gonna put in the techies. And uh, hope that he can actually dish out some extra damage by being the first at 10. There should be something he can just freely shoot without um, without him being attacked. So that at least something that dishes damage can survive. Dickies, where the hell is that damage? That's a rather useless mine. But at least we won that now. Uh, yeah. A Doom, double Doom would be nice. Getting him to tier 2 would be nice. So I'm not doing that bad in the tier 2s. I just, I wonder what I have to do in order to make her work. That's a bit more annoying uh, to decide on. At this point. So we're at max 10. Uh, ooh, a Dragon Knight. Alright, I'm gonna risk that. We're gonna put in the Dragon Knight. Because he... Uh, should have a decent amount of extra damage from this one. One 38% increased attack damage. So that's gonna be my secondary if I can. Oh, he's he's got a defend. Ah, now I should have kept the techies. That tier three is wrecking me. His backline is getting owned. Tier three is down. All right, we won. That's good. Um, but yeah, Dragon Knight, I mean, if I can get him to tier 2, maybe that could still be good. But that was a mistake. So I'm still uh, definitely experimenting, trying to see what works, what doesn't work. And um, still have a lot to learn. But this this to me is actually pretty damn fun. And this is a pretty good go uh, game so far, in my opinion. We've got another dragon here with Puck. We're up to 47 gold. Uh, Keeper of the Light is potentially, again, very strong. And, uh, yeah, with a bit of patience, we can get above 50 again. HPs, though, are getting low. Um, so, any improvements would be very welcome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be patient. Oh, okay, it's still a looting around, so pretty lucky on that. Let's see if I, can, if I can actually get through that, because this stuff does hit extremely hard. You can see my axe is already gone. Luckily, we are dealing a decent amount of damage because of our number of heroes. And so that's okay. But I need I need a big double hero. All units are one gold cheaper. An Eye of Skidi. Now, I do like that idea to put that on her. Then we'll give the extra HP to him. And uh, the Doom, uh, not that interesting. And so this, you come in this phase, 
uh, that's when you can start to gamble like this. You can you can really start to look for. Well, we've got a gyrocopter here at the ready. Not that great, but he can definitely do Techie's job if I want him to. And uh, yeah, I get 10 gold every round. They get their earnings, the five base gold plus whatever happens when victory and all of that stuff. But uh, if I can get this to work, this would be very nice. Techies did really well there and she slowed them down. All right. Now she died, but at least she got the puck down. Oops, she's still not down. Come on. Come on. Zoop, zoop. Actually a victory. Okay. I mean, it's not going to do a lot of damage. Only two, but we did it. So that's awesome. And now what I get is, of course, 11 gold normally. Unless it's a win streak. And one... Ooh, 12 gold even because of the win streak. Uh, so we'll definitely take the second Doom here. Come on, another Doom. Uh, Medusa is really nice as well. She can actually attack multiple targets at the same time. And uh, we can... Uh, another Terror Blades... Uh, yes, or dig. Dig, I mean, if we would get a doom, that would be so awesome. No, we don't. All right, not much I can do about that. Uh, Terror Blade is at two, so I'm not very likely to get him to three. And that's, that's uh, a very strong defense. And there you can see also the tactic, a very winning tactic that I was contemplating doing at some point. is getting a Keeper of the Light all the way in your corner. Uh, is very very powerful as well so this is i'm actually gonna move him here and at least i'm in the top three but yeah dirty ginger here he actually uh, does have a way more powerful army than me and i'm not sure how i'm ever gonna beat him unless i really like switch it up a lot or get very lucky at this point uh and I've got a, I've got a gamble. So let's really let's spend all that gold. Uh, not sure if that's even worth it. All right, another tickies would be really nice. Ah! And now I went too fast and I missed out on the tier three doom. I'll take that extra tickies. Let's hope that I can survive this game. But I don't think so because this guy is just going nuts on me. Look at that, a tier 3, yeah, that's very strong. Uh, I might have just survived. No, I'm actually down and out because of the 10 damage. But yeah, there you go, guys. Managed to get into the top 3, so I'd say that that's quite okay. And I think it gives you guys a nice overview of what it's like to play this game uh, online against other players. The more you know about the mechanics, the better. And of course, this is open beta. So some stuff will probably get nerfed, like that Keeper of the of the Light in that one corner. is just a little bit OP, in my opinion, uh, at this point. Uh, very, very difficult to deal with. But maybe with a different comp, it's, it's easier to do. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.